This is a review of the Husqvarna LE221R electric self-propelled 21 inch walk behind mower. Grass is starting to grow here pretty well. The landscape bushes and everything are all starting to fill out. Lilacs are in full bloom this weekend. Apple tree has got a few flowers left on it, but otherwise it's set a lot of flowers this year, set a lot of buds. So it'll be interesting to see how many apples we get off that old tree. So I've had a chance to use the Husqvarna for a while now. And let's go through it a little bit, do a review of what I like and what I don't like about it. So let's get started. Down in the dirt. I mowed this section of the lawn with the Husqvarna Tuesday. Today's Thursday. So you can get an idea how well it looks. Um, <clears throat> I was real happy with the power of this. Uh, it's got a, what is it, a 1.4 kilowatt motor on it. And that motor has plenty of power to handle this uh, nice blue grass. It runs at a certain RPM. I think it's 3,000 RPM. Normally, if you hit some tough grass, it'll spin up to 3,500 RPM. And you also have an economy mode if you're not, if your grass is light, you're not walking very fast, where you can switch, turn it down to 2,500 RPM. This is Husqvarna's best walk-behind mower. It has a steel deck. Comes with two 5 amp hour 40 volt batteries. Slow charger, bagger, side discharge. Everything you need to mow your lawn. A few of the things that I like about this mower are, number one, they're 40 volts, two batteries. Each of them is a four amp hour battery. So the machine only needs one to run and uh, you can use one up, throw that on the charger while the other one is, while you're still mowing lawn with the second one, if you need a little bit more extended run time with this machine. It does come with a regular charger, so it does take a while to charge these up. I don't have a problem with that myself. I think that if you charge lithium, I think that if you charge lithium batteries too fast, you can shorten the life on them. So this one gives you a, the the regular charger, which gives gets you the most life out of your batteries. This this mower will accept all the 40 volt Husqvarna batteries. And they have a whole range from 2 amp all the way up through 9 amp that you that uh, you can put in here if you'd like to. So, um, it's really handy. They have, I don't know, I think over 90 different uh, products that use this battery. So particularly if you're, constru if you're into construction, forestry, that type of stuff, and the, your homeowner, uh, they have just about anything you need. To, uh, that's battery powered nowadays. One of the interesting features about this Husqvarna is it does have a safety key in it. So to use the mower, when you go to use the mower the first time mowing, you have to turn the key on. If you leave it on and nobody touches the mower, it will turn back off again after about three minutes. good safety feature. You can also pull the key and take it with you in case you got teenagers that shouldn't be mowing lawn yet. Let's stay with the batteries just a little bit. The batteries have three separate indications for how full it is. Um, both batteries are that way. Plus there's a dial 
or a gauge up on the handle that will tell you the state of both batteries. It's kind of a nice feature. Plastic cover, typical plastic cover, seals it up from dust. The Husqvarna deck itself appears to be pretty much their standard 21 inch steel mulching deck. Um, has the high wheels in the back, rear wheel drive. This one does use a separate powertrain for the rear wheel drive. You have the push mower that you know, makes it a little bit lighter. Front wise they have the, the plastic bumper on the front and the cover single height control and it goes from one to three inches the max height cut height on this mower is is three inches measured right off the blade to the ground here <clears throat> bagger is the standard husqvarna bagger and uh, i have not tried to fill the bagger yet i'll do that later on this year when i compare this to the other mowers it does use a plug, and let me set the camera still and take the bagger off. Let's show you the plug. Standard plug, just pull this, pop it out if you want a bag. <clears throat> Let's go up top, take a look up top. Like all push mowers that does have a safety catch to it so that when you go to start it and start the blades you have to flip this lever here to start the machine in addition this one we talked about the key inside the battery compartment when you first time you go to use it press this green light comes on gotta hold it for about a second then when you flip your bale go to start the console itself again there's battery level tell you where your batteries are at there's an economy mode this uh, motor has three rpm ranges normally the blade spins about 2900 rpm which is where your today's your typical gas mower uh, spins if you press this it drops the blade speed down to 2700 and if you're mowing light grass, this will give you a much better run time. Finally, it will automatically speed up to 3,500 RPM if it hits some heavy, heavy grass to mow. So it doesn't lag much. I have to say it will mow pretty tall grass and, and you can't slow the motor down. It does a good job. Finally, on the back here is a speed control. And it's blinking because of the camera, not because it normally does that. So you got a one, four, four different speeds you can select. Um, I like the third speed works for me good. Fourth, the fast speed is a decent speed. You can walk behind it pretty nicely. Then to use the drive unit, all you have to do is pull this bale, pull this bale here. And it does use a separate motor, uh, like the Egos, so it does make a, um, a transmission noise like the Egos when you're driving it. You can also drive this without the blade running, which is kind of nice too. So, um, what else do I want to show you? Let me set this down just a second. I'll tip the mower over. Now I've mowed with this quite a few times now in different conditions, wet grass, dry grass, so on and so forth. This morning I was out with it and the grass was had a lot of dew on it and about six inches tall. So as you can see, the machine does a pretty good job of keeping clean. It does, you can uh, hose it out if you want to, 
later on or when the stuff is wet yet so it's easy to clean but the airflow on this deck is pretty nice it does make a little uh, I'm going to use the word clunking noise when it's mulching because the grass will sometimes build up here in this corner and then drop down into the blade and it'll go chunk 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 but that's your normal gas powered mulchers do that too you just don't hear it as much because they're a lot noisier there's the transmission down there and uh, looks like a stainless steel drive shaft to both wheels nice bumper up front here to protect the metal deck so you don't dent your deck I'm trying to think what else I forgot. Oh, handle adjustment. Let's set her back up. Okay, it does have two adjustments on the handle for taller, short people. All I have to do is pull, uh, loosen that knob. The thing slides back a little bit. You can, you can adjust the height. This will fold up for storage. In other words, it's got a joint here in the middle. The handle folds over like your normal push mower and then you can fold the other side down or if you need to save just a little bit of room in your garage you can loosen this nut here on both sides and the handle drops down easily it's not a quick fold and it doesn't stand up on on its own like uh, the Eagle and the Toro does but for a lot of people that doesn't matter I like the way it cuts I'm going to show you a few videos of what I've done. I've mulched leaves, cut grass, cut heavy grass, and I've got one spot at the end of this video where we did mow with the Toro 60 volt and this one side by side so you can see, get a comparison. All right, I think I've covered all the majors on this. Um, I'm happy with the way it cuts. I'm happy with the power. I'm happy with the economy. Understand that this has comes with two 4 amp hour 40 volt batteries, so you're not going to have quite as much battery capacity out of the box. I live in Wisconsin. We have lots of Harleys. So you won't quite have as much battery capacity with the stock batteries that you get out of the box as you would a 56 or 60 volt 7.5 amp hour battery. So if you have about a third acre of lawn or so, this is a good mower. If you have a little more than a third of the acre, just remember that uh, since it uses two separate batteries, you can have one on the charger while you're using one so you can get that extra um, 20 minutes of mowing time if you need it or so and then of course Husqvarna does have a whole different size all different sizes of batteries for this if you want to get bigger batteries later on all right if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section below tell us what you think of this video if you like what I'm doing this year hit subscribe please and uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Turn it on.
All right, let's take a look here, see how it mowed. To the right is the Husqvarna. To the left is the Toro. Let's flip her upside down, see she does down this way. So, this area here is the Toro. This area over here is the Husqvarna. Down in the 